Hey everyone, as you can see, I'm doing something a little bit different today. So before I start the Archon Quest today, I actually want to watch the version 4.2 trailer because I actually have not seen it yet. I intentionally didn't because I didn't want to be spoiled. A lot of the time, I feel like the version trailers give away a little too much about what's in the quest. But today I actually decided I want to watch it because I want to like hype myself up for this quest because it's the final act of Fontaine. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Here we go. The Hydro Archon to be punished via the death sentence. What? Wait, what? That's wow. That's Denial the way to start. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly wow. disappeared. Wait, so it's, it's actually gonna happen? The Shouldn't water is is coming. Avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange. All the same, there's something ominous about it. Hey, yeah, the okay, water, something right? like that. That's kind of part of why I don't. That, that's kind of giving away a little yes. too much. Not gonna lie. Remember this trial is She's doing her own trial. Oh, the whale. I couldn't avoid not seeing this. <laughs> it was everywhere when this was revealed. That's crazy looking. Oh, oh, and her. Of course. Of course. Skirk. A magnificent and dramatic trial. Farewell, Oh, wow. All right, that was a pretty cool trailer. Gave away a little too much, as I've said before. But, oh well, I've already been spoiled on quite a few things already, so it's not that big of a deal compared to everything I already know. Like, Skirk showing up at the end was a huge deal. But, I, I like, I saw her face immediately pop up even after I had skipped the trailer because that's that's a huge deal. Finally meeting Child's Master that he learned from in the Abyss, who taught him the file legacy transformation, that's crazy to finally see here. What I will say is I'm a little disappointed we got nothing on anything Hexen Circle or Witches at all. Which was something that I was really thinking would be a part of Fontaine, but so far, nothing at all. Like, why did they introduce that in the last Windbloom if it wasn't going to be anything? Here's a list of everything I know so far. Navia, that falling into the Primordial Sea thing, I heard about that. But I guess that's not really a spoiler that much because they put it in the trailer, but... I don't know. Child fights the whale? I mean, it's in the trailer. But one thing I did learn is that Malus and Silver, Navia's bodyguards, die. And that is a big deal, and I wish I didn't know that. It sucks that I know that. I also know that, like, the trial of Fosalor, hosted by Farina, is like, I don't know exactly how it works, but like, she quote-unquote dies or something, and that there's no Hydro Archon at all, and that she becomes an Archon at the end of the quest, or something like that. I believe that's what I've heard. I obviously haven't done the quest yet, but like, I, out of everything I keep seeing everywhere, I'm trying to avoid things as much as, po as possible, but like, it's just impossible. It, it's impossible to avoid, avoid spoilers. I should really do the Archon quest as soon as they come out next time because I'm just putting myself at risk to getting spoiled. So yeah. Anyways, I think that's about it with, with the trailer. I'll, I'll go ahead and do the quest now and I'll, I'll see you guys there. Hey everyone. As you can see, I am not in the game yet. I am starting in the launch or not the launcher. I'm starting in the title screen because something very very stupid happened. So you see, you know this thing in Genshin when you like walk near the quest starting area and it just starts the quest even if you're not tracking the quest yet? So that exact thing just happened to me, but in the most stupid way <laughs> you could possibly think, yes, I'm like really mad about this because like, I, I, I just, uh, I have ways of doing things that I want to do it. If that gets interrupted, it just really irks me. Sorry, I'm sorry if I'm a bit mad. So anyways, I was doing- I, I did Risley's story quest. I, don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil anything. At the end of the quest, you talk to him at the cafeteria. So, you would think, okay, you finish the quest at the cafeteria, and then that's it. But you would be wrong. Because, as soon as you finish the quest, you get teleported into your dorm room. What? why Why? Why does that happen? It makes no sense. And the worst thing about that, is that is exactly where the Archon quest starts. So, as soon as I get teleported, or as soon as I finish the quest, I get teleported there and then immediately starts the Archon quest. Which I didn't want to do yet, because I wanted to do, do my commissions, do some artifact domain or whatever, but I couldn't, because it immediately started the quest. And because of that, I had closed the game immediately, and now I'm recording this right away, because I have to. The game forced me against my will to do this. So, uh, thanks. Thanks, Helio. Love ya. Ugh, <sighs> man. Well... I hope the beginning section is short so I can just quickly get out of it and then come back to this later when I really actually want to do it. So, 
Let's just, let's just go. Let's just do this. Yeah, I guess I'm starting Act 5 right now. Ah, now for a little rest after breakfast. Ah, this is the life. Really? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this place, <laughs> to be honest. Ah, Masquerade of the Guilty. Here we go. And is that it? That's it. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay. All right, time to get time to leave this place. Time to get out of here. Bye, prison. I didn't like it here, anyways. Well, I mean, it's prison, so that's kind of the point. But still, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, look at my my busted story team. <laughs> it's so good, I know. Let's hurry up and. Huh? Oh, what? Already? Already? We're not leaving the fortress yet. No. I know I'm harsh on this place, but like, it's cool. It's just not my thing, I guess. I don't know. Steampunk in general in Genshin wasn't what I was looking for, you could say. That's why I'm not that big on Fontaine as a whole. It's it's not it's not their fault. It's just it's just a personal taste kind of thing. I'm still enjoying the story though. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. The surface? Wait, what? Wait, what's going on up there? Uh, it's you two. Oh, uh, CG. Are you leaving now? I'm glad to see her again. Doesn't feel like we were confined here. It's actually been pretty nice. No, 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 it hasn't. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> My mom feels fond of this place now. I don't. I don't. Sorry. Bye bye. No, but not you, Cedric. I like you, Cedric. And 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 the Duke. He's nice too, Risley. There's some nice people, but I don't like the place. <laughs> well, then be sure to come back and visit. I'll miss you. Oh, okay. Back to the surface. So, I've heard, like, absolutely rave reviews about this Archon Quest. Like, saying it's the- people saying it's absolutely the best Archon Quest by far. Now, I- I believe them in that that's probably- it's generally how they feel, but I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time agreeing with them. My current favorite Archon Quest is- well, okay, there's two. I have two tied for first place that I can't decide between. The first one being the Perilous Trail Archon Quest, the second one in the Chasm. That one was amazing, but the reason being is that I didn't really expect much out of that. I had no idea what to expect, so I didn't really have any expectations going away, so whatever they did, it was a pleasant surprise to me. My other one is the second act of Sumeru's Archon Quest, which is the one that introduced Nahida for the first time, who is my favorite character. And I had heard great things about it as well, but not as much as I have about Fontaine, but also the way they described it didn't actually set me up for what I was prepared or prepare me for what was actually going to be there. So I was still impressed by that. And I hope that's the case for Fontaine, but I, I just doubt it. I doubt that's how it's going to be. I feel like I have a better idea of what goes on in this quest. Also, I didn't get spoiled for anything in that last one. This one, I've gotten spoiled for quite a few things, so I know stuff already. So, yeah, it's disappointing, it's it's unfortunate, but it's the truth. I'm not going to deny that. My expectations are low-ish, but also high at the same time, if you know what I mean. I guess it is better to have low expectations in that regard, but I wish I had none. I wish I didn't get spoiled, but... I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it. How do you leave? <laughs> I don't know how you- how do you even get out of here? Hmm, a massive whale. Yeah, there's a few of those in this community that fun the whole game. <laughs> do you have any idea what that might be? Something you wouldn't be able to comprehend, Paimon. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. They were all dissolved. Oh, wait, did Malus and Silver already get swallowed by the water? Is that what happened? Oh, man. <sighs> Demoiselle! We've got a situation here! Sorry, I, I need to go for now. They got swallowed already, didn't they? Malus and Silver... They won't ever come back here again. Hmm. <clears throat> there it is. Oh, what do you say in this situation? And they were caught in the seawater! Okay, I don't mean to ruin the moment, but they didn't show it. They died off screen. That stings. Off screen. That's that's an event they should have shown. I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. Oh man. That's oh and now that can't even happen. Alright, alright. I'll remember your requests. Man, oh that hurts. That hurts. I promise to let them rest in peace here. There's nothing you can do about that. It's not- it's not anyone's fault that it was primordial seawater where they dissolved, making that impossible. That's not anyone's fault. Don't blame yourself for that. 
Seems you've become more eloquent in the time oh, since we last met. What? what is she doing here? Is everything going well on your side? They're working together. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but like, I didn't see this coming at all. Honestly, didn't think they'd ever interact. Wow. Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together when we had the chance. Oh. Jolly cooperation? Yes, jolly cooperation. Let's do it. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna summon me and help with the Taurus demon fight? Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, it didn't crit. It never crits. Burst damage dealer moment. Man, these really are ruins. <laughs> I love it. I love old Okay. That scared me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't think Genshin had jump scares in it. This place has also been contaminated by primordial seawater. A Fontanian would most likely dissolve the moment they fell in. I'll go together with you. Perhaps we'll find the exit just up ahead. All right. Come with us for now then, but please be careful. I can sense what's coming next based on what we saw in the trailer. That's very likely what's going to happen next. Oh. oh, by the way, I have a dull blade on the traveler if anyone was wondering. Something oh. wrong with this bridge. Run for oh. it. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh. This is it, isn't it? Oh, that really reminded me of Vermin Soul with the bridge breaking there. So what's gonna happen? How is she gonna survive that? Obviously she does, but what is gonna happen? Uh, huh. Oh? Wait, what? Is that Poiss That's Poisson. Poisson. Is she underwater? <clears throat> Demoiselle. What? Huh? What? What is this? Was I sleeping? Oh, this is weird. Do you remember Mr. Giverny? He requested our... Uh, he's one of the guys who also got dissolved. Oh, by the way, Burnett. Burnett. What was it that you wanted to give to Miss Navia again? She's another person who was dissolved. I've heard this name before. Oh. Sometime recently, I'm sure of it. Her memory is all messed up. And why are there so few people around here? Where did everyone go? Maybe she... Is she not from Fontaine? Or did she get dissolved and this is what happens? Your brain gets all, like, messed up. And it like, creates memories out of something. Or maybe she's a special case, I don't know. It's like messing with her memories and creating something out of what's in there. Your trial is about to begin. What? Her trial? Okay, that's definitely not something that happened before. There sure are a lot of people here to see the trial. Harina, Desiree. Oh. Joeville. Jolien. They're all people who dissolved. Essence. Everyone there is people who, who dissolved. And no one who didn't. There's no one else there. Huh. And as for the judge... Uh, huh? Where's Mr. Nervillette? Yeah. He didn't dissolve, so he wouldn't be there. Aren't you just proving that I'm a good person? Yes, correct. And that is why you stand accused. You are one with us. We are inseparable. What? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. We couldn't possibly do without you. Wait a second. Is this, like, a trial to get her back from the primordial sea from being dissolved? No way. That's kind of cool, actually, if that's the case. Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay here. Oh. You will be together with us forever. Oh, okay. Well, uh, never mind what I just said. <laughs> what is going on, then? I seem to remember now. Oh? Yes, I get it. This trial is... Wait just a moment. This isn't right! Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. Wait, okay, so it's actually the opposite of what I was saying. Guilt means she stays in the sea. Not guilty means she gets to go back. And in the end, everyone shall meld together. Oh, th yeah, this is just like what happened earlier in Act 2 to uh what is that guy's name i don't remember and all the women that were dissolved by him yeah they all melded together into one consciousness 
or their consciousness melded together into one being, I guess I should say. That's exactly what this is. Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. Uh-huh. I, uh, yep. Uh-huh. Us. There it is. After all that happened, she should not be left alone in Poisson. Silence. Oh. What? Monsieur Navillette. He is here. Please leave with me, Miss Navia. While there is still time. Only chance oh. to leave this place. Wait, is, is Navillette saving her? Behind? Like, for real? Oh, man. Oh, it's, that's true. She, she really can't bear to leave them behind. This would be the last time she'd ever get to see them. This shall be our last goodbye. Wow. Quickly, you must come now. Goodbye, demoiselle. At least she got to have a proper goodbye with them. <laughs> You're awake. Good. Ah. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, Nouvellet was there for real and saved her. Because he's the only one who has the power to do so. When I arrived, I found you falling toward the water. You were just about to be dissolved within, but I, I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. It was only for a moment, perhaps even a fraction of a second, but they gave me the chance to retrieve you. Oh, wow. Malus and Silver. Wait a second. Two Oceanids. Are Oceanids just what becomes of people when they get dissolved? And that's how Oceanids exist in the first place? And how they exist as a species as a whole? Or is that, is that just... Not it. <laughs> That's just the form they take. So she didn't actually touch the water. Or maybe she touched like a tip of it. And that's what caused her head to go crazy like that. Wait. Okay, I was actually... Okay. Okay, I was onto something then. Oh. Stop. The prophecy. Wait. Or is that... Is that the... I think on the right, that's her weeping on her throne. But this... That's a bunch of people. With her in the middle. That's... That's her falling into the sea, isn't it? And that's... Celestia attacking? Whoa. Reason dictates that this nation be destroyed. I shall record the history of its future here in its past. Prophecy. Fate. A prediction? <laughs> I guess. But more so the first two. Oh. That's right. If the images are in chronological order, shouldn't the fourth, the waters drowning Fontaine, come before the third? Where the Hydro Archon herself falls into the water? But there wouldn't be people around her in that case, because they'd all be dissolved. Previous Archon kneeling before the floating island in the skies, as if confessing a sin. Oh, did she confess a sin to Celestia? It seems that any further clues will have to come from Farina. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's talk to her. Let her spill the beans. We need some info from her. Really interesting. <sighs> Today. Oh. What? Mona? Now that is someone I was not expecting to see at all. Wow. That's crazy. Wait, are we actually gonna get some Hexen Circle stuff? I was complaining about that earlier. No way. Have I had just not had that spoiled for me? What are you doing in Fontaine? What are you doing in Fontaine? Wait, you're not a Fontanian, are you, Mona? Isn't she, though, actually? What? have some business to attend to here, so I booked a hotel in the city. Of course she's down here, because she can only afford something down here. <laughs> Why did you think I was from Fontaine, though? Is that because Magistus doesn't sound much like a mom's dad or surname? Oh, I really thought she was. I thought it was confirmed already. I guess not. And yeah, you're right, Magistus does not sound like a mom's dad or surname. Magistus is not the name of some ancient house or clan. It generally just means great. That's why she says that in her thing. Yeah, she says, I am Mona Magistus, something otherwise known as the great astrologist Mona. No wonder. That make yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That didn't make sense to me before. It just means great. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what do you make of that prophecy, Mona? Ascertaining this is akin to reading the fortune of the whole world. If I could do it, you would no longer call me an astrologist, but a visionary. You can't do it. But... I'm sure you know someone who can. Or someone you know knows someone who can. Can Alice do it? Or can her old- can the old hag do it, maybe? I don't know. No, she's an astrologist still. But it must surely come from a powerful visionary. Its contents oh. involve the fate of the world. Maybe one of the Hexen Circle came up with it in the first place. The old hag could do it. And oh, okay. I bet there are others amongst those Hexen Zirkle colleagues of hers who could do something similar. 
Yeah, there we go. I was right on the nose. You are the Hydro Archon Fossilor, are you not? Are you not? Ooh. Yeah, she's she's not. I know. I've already been spoiled. Kind of. That she isn't, and then that she is later? Or something like that? <laughs> if anyone would know about it, it should be you. Yeah. It should be her. She should know about it. But her memories were altered or erased or split from her, right? She had to have come from somewhere. But she's not born like Nahida was right as the previous Archon died. She's older than that. She was there when Nigeria was there, right? Is it really so strange that I know nothing? Yes, because you were there, right? You're the Eudix, but you're still my subordinate. You should be following my lead. Just trust in me, your Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. It'll all turn out fine. That's all I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't even know what to think of her at this point. Is she really ignorant to everything? Or does it have to do with her mind being split or something like that? We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. What could that be? Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must have the Hydro Archon oh, experience just so That's this perfect. Scenario. That's actually perfect. Make her go on trial. But how? She would need to commit a crime. Something worthy of being accused of. For, yeah. But from... Oh, I know who we can get help from. The Fatui. That's where we're gonna go. Well, that's everyone, huh? How many people did we gather? <laughs> Poisson was just involved in a disaster. Oh. So it's uh -huh. presently devoid of people. Yep. Ahem. Lend me your ears, everyone. Oh, wait. Of course, Navi would be there, too. Or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you, friend? Fremine. Haven't heard much from him. Or seen much of him, really. Uh, me? I, no. I don't think I can. Yeah, I, don't, don't, don't put him in the spot like that. How about you, good sir? Oh, he's I here too? I, I was thinking Arlequina would be there too. That oh. was a little long-winded, don't you think? She's here too? My gosh. You know, this feels very similar to the end of Sumeru's Archon Quest. How the whole group gets together to form a plan. That's really- and I really like that about Sumeru. And, well, I, I like that about Fontaine too now. I'm still wondering if we're gonna get Arlequino involved in this. I kinda hope we do. Uh, did you just pour some tea? Oh. Who did it? Who's here? <laughs> what's that? Wait a second. Don't tell me. Don't be frightened. I'm just joining you two for tea. Oh. Wait. No way. Is this the same voice? That sounded like the same voice we heard at the end of the, the last interlude chapter with Scaramouche. Is that Mona's master? Or is it Nicole again? You're the voice okay. Heard from the sky okay, it is her. So it's Nicole. Just accepting a commission from my friend's disciple on a whim. Ah, uh, okay. So she's delivering the message from Mona's master. Fate shall serve as your only guide. All you need to do is to play your part. Will it serve as our, it serve as our only guide, but will it serve as only a guide? Not being specific. She said that even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty bold if you ask Paimon. Most people would believe the gods to be all-knowing, right? Okay, I was kind of thinking that, but I wasn't 100% sure, so I didn't actually say that. That it was, like, blind spots. But it makes sense. Not related to Conria specifically, but just that they don't have an all-seeing eye. They see the big picture. It's literally as if it's too, like, small to see. It's like that, but metaphorically. Obviously, the outcome of all this is gonna be- it's gonna be okay, because obviously they're not gonna destroy a part of the map. So they are gonna fix it. But I don't know how. And if it's supposed to happen, then maybe it does and it's just not as bad as it seems. That's why I was thinking that. You were crying just now, weren't you? The show at the Opera House earlier this morning was so moving. Give, give it up, Farina. Give it, give it up. We got you. It's okay. You don't have to put on this act anymore. Hey, there she is. The Hydro Archon's over there. Quick, after her. This should be the place, right? Hey, Farina. There's a good hiding spot over here. Quick, come to Paimon before the rest of them catch up to you! Oh, wait, we just let her into our quote-unquote trap, right? 
Is that what this is? Oh no, not again. Oh, where is it this time? We cannot make an enemy of the divine. No matter what we do, the will of the heavenly principles will have its way, and the prophecy shall be fulfilled. We cannot make an enemy of the divine. That's the line that Dainsliff says. Even she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. She's afraid of them. Well, that's enough for now. I got the impulse to play the street. Oh my maiden. goodness. But honestly, considering my rank and station, that wasn't a good fit at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's still putting up the act. Covering her real self with an act, saying it was an act. Oh my gosh. Share my burden. <sighs> there we go. A witness. <sighs> ah. Yes. Pulling the witness card. Oh, that's a good idea. If that's the case. Oh. Oh, wow. We got a cutscene. I. Oh, no. I don't feel like. I don't see this going the right way. Oh. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> wow, what a trap. <sighs> Dang, they were being moved the whole time. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my opening performance. <laughs> How clever, that was cool. Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? May I interpret these words? as your refusal to stand trial. Oh ho. In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor through a duel. <laughs> you, you would draw your blade against a god? It's her job. Doesn't matter who it is. Oh. I raised my hands just now to indicate my acceptance of the trial. No duel shall be necessary. So she surrendered. Okay. <laughs> Who will be my opponent in this trial? Him. Right? The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Oh. <laughs> it's Aether. The earth oh. magic box <laughs> in the giant magic box was of just course. a normal- Of course. Duh. Why didn't I put that in together? Yeah, you deceived me too. Jeez. <laughs> Judge the Hydra Archon. The trial to end all trials. The prosecution and the defense are both in position. The trial shall now begin. All right, here we go. It is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. Well, Nuvalet is not a human. <laughs> also, you don't act very godlike compared to the other gods. You are very human. That's true. But my Wh charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an archon. Whoa. Hey, it's Zack. <laughs> Instead... I would like to charge you as a fraud who's never been the Archon in the first place. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thanks, spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I know. I already have been spoiled that she's not the Archon. <sighs> well, let's see how this goes. Do you plead guilty to the charge? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I plead not guilty. How can I be guilty? Maybe she doesn't know that she's guilty. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever since they were born. There would be no fooling their memory. But if she never was the Archon in the first place, then they were just lied to their whole lives. See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided to show me its favor! But the Oratrice is the Archon, isn't it? Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, that's that's one thing I was not spoiled on. I don't know what's up with the Oratrice, but I can speculate that it's like her other half or like it's connected to her. If you believe I'm not the Archon, then what manner of being do you think I am? Now that, I don't know. I'm not sure what she is. All right, here we go. Ah, witches have also lived for 500 years. I don't think that's relevant though. Oh, right. Yeah. This, of course. A cursed human. Is she actually just a human? I mean, we have met someone who is cursed, who is a cursed human.
everyone knows that the main difference between a human and a god is the possession of authority. Ah, here we go. Gods can do what humans cannot. Well, why can't you override the ore trees then? Yeah, let's turn that against you. What about the guilty verdict of child? The decisions of the gods are naturally difficult for humans to comprehend. There is no need to provide an explanation. But there is. If you're not a god, then there needs to be an explanation. It is true that I did not know why the Oratrix gave out a guilty verdict that day. You can't argue that just because a divine creation is flawed, that the god behind it must also be no god at all. Wouldn't the creator then want to try to fix the creation? Or make a new one to replace it? You don't just let it be and keep making mistakes. Aren't you the Hydro Archon? Or is it that you can't even wield the power of Hydro, much less the authority of a god? Indemnidium! Yes! It's all because of Indemnidium! Oh my gosh, she really pulled that one. It is true that Archons derive their power from Faith, but she would still have the power. Hey, come now, everyone! Please don't stare at me as if I was a liar! It really does suck to tear her down like this, but we have to get the truth. If I not the real Hydro Archon, then who is? Does there have to be one? Oh gosh, do I want to say the primordial seawater? That's going a little too far. Um, I'm actually not sure about this one. Is it this one? Maybe it really is. What are we gonna do? Pour primordial seawater on here? Uh, well, I, I guess I'm going with this. Let's see. Oh wait, she it's her, it's up to her and she's not gonna go through with it because she knows she would dissolve. There we go. That makes more sense. <laughs> Man, they really backed her into a corner here. What's she gonna do? What's gonna happen? Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady Farina, you may- <sighs> Oh, she did it. Really? Was this not the most obvious thing in the world? Well, here's one thing. Fontanians dissolve in that water. What if you're just not from Fontaine? Because the Traveler does not dissolve. Child didn't dissolve, so that still doesn't prove it. It either proves that she's not Fontanian or that she's a god, but not both. Well, it doesn't prove that she's a god, it just proves that she's not a Fontanian human. Was that not pure primordial seawater and it was synth? Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation and flushed skin. These indicate that she was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to primordial seawater of a similar concentration. Yep, that's what it was. That reminds me, or that makes me think, what happens if a melazine touches it? They're not human. Will they dissolve too, or will something else happen? Just a uh, food for thought. Why would she really go through with this? Well, I guess she kind of has given up already, so... Also, also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of <laughs> she's desperate. Maybe she really believes it and doesn't know that she's not. Farina is guilty. Oh, wow. That was cool. <laughs> that glass breaking was cool. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal, Farina is. Farina is. <gasps> hmm? Oh. The Hydro Archon. Guilty. What? To be punished via the death sentence. Oh, right. I did hear about that. Ah, <sighs> why would I have to be spoiled on that? Oh, wait a second. The Hydro Archon. Frina is not the Hydro Archon. No one is. Or maybe the Oratrix is. And it's going to die. Is oh. Is that the first prophecy slate? That looks like the Hydro Archon, but who is that in the middle? Oh, is that what that is? Let's try to recall the contents of the other three stone slates. Oh, are we doing one of these again? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, this is interesting. If Oceanids can turn into humans, then perhaps this process can be reversed as well. That's why when people touch the primordial water, they, they form ocean oceanids. Yeah. So it's a cycle. But it seems in this case, one human makes four oceanids. But in what we've seen, a bunch of humans make one oceanid. So it's like a cycle, but it's not like perfectly renewable. The heavens still brought judgment down upon them. Is that the sin she committed? Turning people or turning oceanids into people? Is it this? Let's try this one. This is the first one, but I feel like this is the one. So the cycle can continue. 
Okay, I'm actually not sure about this one. So I'm gonna skip it and come back. Sinking into the sea, the sea is surrounded by many people. Why would she go into the sea? Is this the death sentence part? Oh, wait, is this the people protecting her so she does not dissolve? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with that, I'm gonna go with that. Nice, okay, that was really, I was not sure on that, but wow, okay. Okay, I'm I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm gonna go with this. That doesn't sound ah. quite right. Okay, 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 Paimon, okay, Paimon. Maybe it's this one. It was either this one or this one is what I was thinking. I can't really imagine either of these making any sense. I was kind of hoping I'd get it first try, but I really was not certain. That doesn't- That one doesn't- Okay, I- I- Okay, what? <laughs> what does this have to do with it? Um, I don't see how that one makes sense, but okay. <laughs> okay, so this one. Celestia enacting judgment of the sins of Fontaine's people and their Archon, even upon worshipping it still. So, this makes sense, right? Guilty even though he's not guilty. Or, no, I'm gonna go with this one. No, okay, fine, it's this one. <laughs> what is it? Interesting, I still don't get these two. I don't get this still. Is it ju that Orgies judged her for their original sin rather than what was happening today? I'm, I'm still not sure. I'm still a bit confused. Please, uh, please explain. Actually, I bet Aether will do it for me. She also saw everyone gathered around for a trial. All of them in the shape of Oceanids. Oh, of course. How did I not put that together? I mean, I did, but not exactly. Not in exactly the way that it's being explained now. So that- oh! Okay, so that's the- why didn't- I- <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Obviously, it's that. I didn't realize that's what we were trying to figure out. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling into the sea once the prophecy has been fulfilled in the fourth slate? Well, but the thing is, the fourth one shows the Archon by herself, as all the people have already been dissolved, but they're still here. But this is showing her falling into the water. I'm I'm not entirely sure what that means, though. Is it that she falls in and then her throne's, like, down there in the water? Okay, not literally, but, like, well, kind of. Or it's just all the people after they have been dissolved not letting her fall. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. And only the Hydro Archon will remain weeping on her throne. That's why the order to me makes sense. I don't get why Aether says it should be the other way around. The nation of Fontaine is the nation of Hydro, as well as the nation of Trials and Justice. Instead of being the literal element, the water in the scene symbolizes judgment and justice. Wait, so that represents this trial. Farina being put on trial. So we fulfilled the prophecy. That's crazy. Even though we decided to put on this trial to avoid fulfilling the prophecy. Putting her on trial fulfilled the prophecy. Does that mean the scene in the fourth slate will also be fulfilled? I think it already has. Farina's up there, weeping on her throne. As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already encountered it once before. The whale, right? I did speculate early that it had to do with the abyss. Here it is. It's this. It was both yeah. dream. Whoa, what was that? That was purple. Oh. Wait, this is child's theme in the music. Oh my gosh, it's happening right now. Okay, I was not expecting this to happen right now. Uh, okay. Child. Let's go. Oh yeah, he was in the opera but he's in the trailer. How did I not see that? <laughs> and it goes back in. Man. 
Oh god, oh, he's beat up. That whale does not belong to Tevat. Does not belong to Tevat. So it's not from the Abyss? Wait, wait, wait a second. Are you, are you telling me that that whale is a descender? One of the four descenders? No way. Huh? <gasps> the Oratrice. What's happening with the Oratrice? I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. Oh. And she's just sitting there ready to take it. No, I still need answers. What? What was that? Whoa. Oh. And here's the outfit that I've seen posted everywhere across the internet. <laughs> the true Hydro arc? Or the, the Oratrix? Or what? I don't even know. That's a cool outfit. I finally get a good look at it. I love the gradient of the, like, the black into the stars and then to the white. That's really cool. I can't say I'm a fan of the turtleneck, though. <laughs> it's funny, seeing her like this with the turtleneck and stuff makes it feel like it's her head placed on a different body. <laughs> it looks kind of... it's funny. Why did you deceive us? But I had to fool everyone else, too. If I was to stand any chance of deceiving the heavenly principles. Oh, crap. Right. Of course. So there is a Hydro Archon, but it's not Farina, but she... I don't still- I don't get this still. I mean, I guess I couldn't believe the spoiler completely, but like, I don't- I don't know. It's just some comment on a YouTube video I accidentally saw. Can we get this outfit as like a skin, please? That would be- that would be really cool. But they would never do that. Would they? Would Hoyo ever do that? <laughs> it's already in the game. Come on, guys. I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a human being. There we go. There it is. I had speculated that is exactly what happened. Or, not exactly, I guess, like, I, something like that has happened, and I was right. Now, I kind of had it spoiled beforehand being improved right now, but still. It feels good to, to be proved right there. If you look back at my old videos, I don't remember which one, but I did. I, I said something along the lines of that. The me you see before you now is that divinity. And the human counterpart I left behind, I named Farina. You know, this is very similar to, to Raiden Shogun. Not exactly the same, like, she's kind of like a puppet to the real divinity. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. I guess Farina is like the Shogun puppet, but one with an actual personality, as opposed to just being cold and blank, like the puppet following orders. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess, as were her shortcomings. And yes, we can see that her emotions were very human, unlike the Shogun puppet, as I mentioned. Anyway, so then I cursed her. Oh, she was cursed. Yep, Arlie Kino got that right. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Oh, that prophecy makes so much sense now. Of course the sins of all the people will be washed away, because the sins are the people, according to the Heavenly Principles. Ahem! Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the Opera Epiclays. This is interesting. Seeing her like this, it's so different. I imagine just ha having that role for so long it changed her keeping up the fa facade made her more and more arrogant on the outside and more insecure on the inside i'm sure you've long sensed that the oratrice is no simple machine yes oh of course are we finally gonna know what this thing is all about and then i became one with the oratrice taking fontaine's gnosis with me there it is i had a feeling it was in there in truth it is no enactor of justice. It is, in fact, a device created to kill the god of justice. Oh, that's the whole purpose of it? To wait for the moment that Farina's not needed anymore? 
or you when you're not needed anymore. And is that the guillotine? So that's why she doesn't have that as a playable skin. <laughs> but only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydra Archon's divine throne. Shaking the rules established by Celestia. Oh. And breaking through the institution that is the Seven. It breaks it through. Okay, so it's more than just killing her. It's destroying her position entirely. So there will be no new one after she's gone. So the Oratrice's call for death was for neither Farina nor Fosalor, but for the Hydro Archon. The Hydro Archon is a title. It's a role. It's a position. You can't continue the prophecy if there's no Hydro Archon to do it. Returning what's rightfully yours to you, of course. Oh, how could I forget? Right, he and his power. Yeah, because the Archon took all of his power, basically. Or most of it. Oh, here it is. <sighs> the hour of my execution is almost here. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but... She says that earlier, doesn't she? Death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. <laughs> Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Is that the Gnosis? Or his power? Hereby declare, people of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. I'm so sad that I had that part spoiled for me as well. Well, I knew about Fosalor's execution cutscene. I knew about that. I've seen, I've seen the title thrown around out there. So, yeah, it was still, still really great. Sorry, I keep, I always sour moments like that for myself because of being spoiled. But it's not my fault that I came across it and that I still remember everything I see, spoiler related. It's time to end this. We must meet out punishment to that beast. I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Wow, that, oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess that's this is what was meant to happen all along. Come with me, Traveler. The hour of execution has come. Wow, that's cool. That's so cool.
Okay. I shall share a part of the ancient dragon's power with you. We shall look for an opening together. Oh, okay. Okay, I should be okay then. I should be okay. Can I hit it? Can I hit it from here? I think I can. I think I can. I can feel its sorrow. Wow, this is so epic. Oh, what is this? Uh, Numa or Usia? Nice. Continue to trigger its hostility. Chance will present itself. Ah, uh, I can't get I can't get near it. It's, how long is this gonna take? I barely do any damage with this team. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. What the What is this thing? Oh my gosh, listen to this music. This is awesome, oh my gosh. I have granted you my protection. Do not fear. Seize the moment and use my power to suppress its root from within. Leave it all to me. This is awesome, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, let me you see it. Okay, I, I see what I have to do. I just have to keep doing that. Time to clean up. Stand clear. Water jet. Who's that? Okay, that doesn't really do much. Ah, oh, dang it, I have to wait for this. Come on, come on. Dang it. I wasted that opportunity. Fourth, my play. Steadiest. The animal test 63. From whence you came. This is a lot of fun. This is cool. <laughs> also, this enemy itself, I'm <laughs> guessing we're gonna see it at some point. But this is really cool, this is cool. One with my play. Okay, don't waste the thing. Okay, here we go, here we go. Go! Nice. I don't have any. I'll catch up. As a good night should. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's gone. Okay, I think that's probably phase one done. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be that easy. Wait, what? Oh! Here she is. Oh. Okay, I guess Child's just gone. Skirk. She's here. Her outfit is awesome. Oh my gosh. I love the, like, the primordial sea looking stuff on her. person yeah honestly i didn't know what to expect but she seems very human seriously her design is amazing i didn't actually i didn't get a good look at it before but now that i get a full look at it it's really cool i might want to pull for her just just for that like seriously it's so cool his name is sertologi sertologi oh i saw that name in a youtube thumbnail literally earlier today <laughs> but other than that i have never heard it before well how about the vision? Uh, it's, oh, Gold Ryan daughter. Yes, I have heard that name before. She's Obeda's mom, right? Mom is one way to put it. <laughs> I don't actually know them either. Oh, wait. So that's that's not who your master is. My master is likely a similar sort to Ryan daughter. So is your master a member of the Hexen Circle as well? It can't be Alice, right? The Fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. Oh boy. You know, now that I see her from here, her outfit kind of reminds me of Eula's as well. So what, is, what does that actually mean though? Obviously Fontaine isn't wiped off the map. Oh, here we go. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain, weeping on her throne. 
So... What is this? Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Wait, so it really happened? It's just water. Regular water. Oh, right! Rise leaves boat. Or ship, I should say. <laughs> it's a claw machine. Look, the water's receding. <laughs> And then it goes back down. It's a miracle! We, we didn't dissolve. The prophecy was wrong! The prophecy was wrong! So that's how it goes. So the water does rise for a little bit and then goes back down and no one dissolves. So I guess that was actually phase one and two of the narwhal that I just I did that I just did. I didn't need to change my party. <laughs> oh wait, what did I get? Tears among the stars. What is this? Oh, this is my Fontaine Archon Quest five star quest item. <laughs> that's cool. Wow, guess we're here again, huh? There's a real nostalgic feeling to this place. No, get me out. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, kind of. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> what a lovely couple. <laughs> what Miss Farina's departure will mean for the nation. Wait, so her departure. So I guess so. Yeah, she's no longer the... At least she doesn't have the role of Archon anymore. And no one does, because that's the whole point of Fosaloi's sacrifice. I guess New Roulette is the head of Fontaine now. And Farina will just be a regular person. Alright, off to a maritime harbor. Why am I going to the harbor? What What is there to be done at the- Oh, is Farina here? She's the only one we haven't talked to yet. Well, and New Roulette. No, I'm not taking the elevator. Screw that. <laughs> oh, I love the music at this harbor. I forgot how good it was. I haven't been here in a while. There's really no reason for me to come here that often. It's nice to be back. It's where the journey began, after all. That feels like such a long time ago now. Crazy that it's coming to an end now. Well, not really. There's still tons of stuff to do in Fontaine. But with the Archon quest, at least. Anyways. Uh, let's not... Uh, who's there? Oh, how could I forget about Linny and Lynette and Fremenet? Well, I know. I... 
well, I, I, I don't know, I just did. <laughs> I was thinking about Farina and, and Nuvolet. Father and Monsieur Nervilet opened negotiations, during which he gave Fontaine's Gnosis oh. to her as a diplomatic well, gift. there we go. There's another Gnosis. I mean, there's literally no Archon, so there's no point in keeping the Gnosis at this point. What's funny is that I was hoping initially at the beginning of Fontaine that this would be the first time that a Gnosis would be unwillingly or like not given up. But now that I think about it, this is the perfect way to do this. Of course they were going to get this Gnosis. And I think the perfect one for that would be Notlin. The Pyro Archon would not be willing to give it up. Even though the Fatui here are like becoming more and more of an ally. And Notlin, probably not so much. I'm still thinking that there's going to be some sort of Fatui civil war in Sinchnaya, with the Traveler and Arlecchino at least being on the same side. Child. Child 2. Not sure who would be on the other side, but we'll have to see when we get there. Who knows? I could be completely wrong, but I think that just sounds really cool, you know? Oh, you know, probably the Doctor. He would be on the other side. I'm not sure about Capitano. We'll probably- we'll learn more about him in Notlin for sure. Ooh, it's probably going to be one side with Piero and one side with Saritza. Ooh, that sounds fun. Not sure who will be our friend, though. Anyways, I got off topic. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think it's very fitting that Fontaine's Gnosis is gone now because there's literally no reason to keep it. Doesn't that seem a bit irresponsible? Well, like I just said, there's no Archon. And, like, th there's no need for a Gnosis. The Gnosis is given to the, is given to the throne seat. But there's no one there. And there never will be. So the Gnosis is useless. So shocked by such a simple switching of sides? Oh, she's here. Don't be too preoccupied with sides. The goal of the Fatui concerns not a single place or person, but the entire world. Oh, I'm so intrigued and so excited for when we finally get to Snishnaya to learn about this grand goal. All right, this is probably the last part, I assume. And now, this time, I know that I can just walk through the doorway right there. Oh my goodness. I'm guessing this will be our final part where we have our final questions. Unless that's with Farina, but I doubt it. Are we even gonna see Farina at all? Or maybe she'll show up here, I'm not sure. I do I do want to see her again though. I feel like that would only be fitting. It is question time. Here we go. Oh yeah, about Child's guilty verdict. He awakened the all-devouring narwhal. Oh. Okay, so that's that's why. <laughs> what do you have to say about Natlan? Natlan can be said to be a nation of dragons. Dragons, you say? That's kind of awesome. <laughs> Large numbers of them have entered a form of coexistence with humanity. Oh, interesting. Wait, are there going to be like dragon people? Dragon humanoid people? Maybe? Lizard people, I guess? That, that would be interesting. You know, this game makes me think of Dark Souls in a lot of ways, especially in its lore. Like... In Dark Souls, we have no dragons anymore. They're all get, they're all gone. But there's a few living still in one specific area, and they're artificial dragons, but they're dragons nonetheless. Which is pretty funny. Seems Notlin is that same thing, and well, to that, no dragons except Notlin, and they're probably not the same as real dragons. That that's such an interesting parallel and really cool because I love both games. Natlon is also the nation of war. War ravages those lands like an undying flame. Yes. No, I'm um, sorry. Well, okay. I'm really excited for that. There's gonna be so much action. I can't wait for that. So many terrible things. But that makes for a really interesting story. You should have the remains of the third descender on your person, yes? Excuse me, what? The remains of the third descender? Huh? I believe it may be called a gnosis. What? Huh? Wait a sec, what? Is it specifically the Hydronosis or all Gnosis? Wait, remains of the third descender. So, okay, okay, hold on. Let me, let me get this straight. If it's all Gnosis, then Gnosis were, were given to the, were given to the Archons by Celestia. Maybe a specific god from Celestia. And that means Celestia is a descender, which we kind of already knew that based on the lore, but it's never been said up front in a quest like this. So that's really cool to know. Wait, so the Traveler is the fourth descender. Celestia is the third descender. I guess the Norval is not a descender. And the second who came and the primordial one are the first and second? Or something... Or is the second who came part of Celestia? The thing is, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember exactly if it's... Like, it's called the second who came, so 
obviously the second descender, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe the second who came is the third descender in this case, and is the one who set up Celestia, or that primordial one is no, isn't the primordial one who set up Celestia, and is the one who it would be and would be the third descender in this case. Oh, I'm uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like I'm really into the lore, but sometimes it's a bit overwhelming, and I don't remember everything exactly right. I have to I have to watch some more videos to see what this all means. This third descender you refer to, who are they? And when did they die? Master never mentioned them to me. Perhaps it just wasn't that important for uh, me to know. Of course. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> it wouldn't be that simple. <laughs> Is that could they be a person's remains? Hmm. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. I wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, so it's all of them. Yeah, it makes more sense. But the Gnosis themselves are the remains. Why didn't I put this together? The second who came is the second who came. The third one is someone else. The second who came is the second one. And the third one came after and was killed by second for either one of the first two, Celestia. And they used the remains to make the Gnosis? Okay, that's insane. That's kind of insane. Yeah, so it's interesting to know that the third one's dead. And it's not our sibling, I imagine. Unless it is, that would be w weird. That'd be weird. I don't know how that would work. Wait, but they're not even in Ermenstall records, so it doesn't that doesn't matter at all. That doesn't that doesn't that's irrelevant. They're not considered one. No, no, let's not think about this stuff right now. It just feels creepy. No, Paimon, please, let's think about this stuff right now. I wanna know more. Oh come on, Paimon. Don't tell me your programming in there says we should avoid topics like this. I too believe it unwise to make too many blind guesses when information is lacking. Yeah, okay, I guess that's a fair point. Wait a second. This is a guillotine. Uh, I mean, I knew that already. It looks, or it looks like a guillotine. But of course, it's here. The whole point was that the Ortrys was Falsalor's execution device. Oh my gosh! It was written right here the whole time. Wow! There we go. Fontaine's Archon quest complete. Wow! That's okay. I'm I'm just like taking taking it in. Like I'm done. I finished it. Also, uh, I believe the domain is right here for some reason. Why? <laughs> Alright, I guess I guess I should give my thoughts on this as a whole. I, I got a, a nice vantage point up here for some reason. <laughs> because I just felt like standing up here. So, Fontaine's Archon Quest. I'll admit, that last act was really good. That was really good. I'm, I'm, I'm really... I was impressed. That was good. I know I would have enjoyed it more if I wasn't spoiled, but still, nonetheless, I did enjoy it quite a bit. But... Overall, it was it was really good. At least Act Five was really good. Acts one through four, they were also good, but I don't think they were on the same level as five, which makes sense because Act Five is the finale. That's you leave all the best stuff for last, and they gotta go out with a bang, you know. But the thing is, it's overall I still prefer Sumeru's Archon Quest to Fontaine's, but that's my own personal bias because I just prefer Sumeru as a whole more so than Fontaine. I just don't really like the steampunk aesthetic here. I don't like how the land is split up between water and land. How there's just islands all over. It feels so disconnected, not like it's an open world to explore. Kind of like Inazuma, but honestly worse in that regard because Inazuma is islands in the middle of the ocean. I don't know. I, there's still something more that I liked about Inazuma's exploration. I guess because it was hostile there. It wasn't really hostile in Fontaine. And, and in my opinion, Fontaine is like the definition or like textbook mid-game area. Not in that like it's mid, but like middle middle game. You know what I mean? Like not the end game, not the early game, mid game. I mean, I guess Sumeru also kind of feels like that, but no, more so Fontaine in that regard, which usually is an area that just kind of drags a little bit, just isn't the best parts, you know? I know many people disagree with me and think Fontaine is the best by far and is like what saved the game for them, but I, I don't know, I just don't feel that way. I, I like Sumeru and Sum well, Sumeru was that for me. Sumeru was the thing that really got me back into this game and Fontaine, I was like, I wasn't really excited for it. I didn't immediately come here. Like, for Sumeru, I went there on day one and did everything, like, as soon as it came out. But I'm doing this... I just finished the Fontaine Archon Quest, which came out in 4.2, at the very end of version 4.3. Like, version 4.4 comes out in, like, a week. So, I took my time with this. 
I still haven't got 100% everywhere. Like, everywhere else I would get it before the next region, region came out. But this time, I'm I'm behind. I didn't even open all the statues of the Seven until very recently. Just It's just not my thing, Fontaine as a whole. But judging the Archon quest on its own still isn't my cup of tea compared to Sumeru, because I would have preferred more adventure. This felt more political, but also, like, I don't know, it, it just, it didn't feel very adventurous. I'm, I'm not a fan of the court system, I guess. I mean, it was cool what they did with the gameplay there, and the revelations were really interesting. It's just not my cup of tea, still. I, I, mean, I keep saying that, it's just, this is how I feel. Linny as a character, I'll say, wasn't my favorite, so that kind of got me off to a poor start. Since there was so much focus on him, I was kind of like, I, I, I see the appeal, but he's not for me. But then, Navia, on the other hand, was great. She is definitely one of my favorite characters in Fontaine, and maybe even Genshin as a whole. She's very well written, and I really like her. I, you know, I should go over the positives, but I keep beating down Fontaine's Arc Conquest right now, but there's still definitely parts I, I enjoyed. Farina right here, it was great. She reminds me of Fischl in the way that she's, like, was obnoxious, but also lovable. And then hearing, seeing, or seeing her tragic story, it's made me like her even more. I am glad I pulled her. Her design is one of my favorites in the game, and she's kind of overpowered as well. But <laughs> it's unfortunate I got spoiled, but I'm still happy about experiencing the quest and her story and everything and getting her. I got Navia as well. I do have Navia as well. Um, I do like Lynette and Fremine. They were cool. I, I like them both better than Linny. I wish they had more time in the spotlight. I mean, they're four stars, it makes sense Lenny would get more time, especially because he's an extrovert and those two are introverts, they would rather spend less time talking to people. So it makes sense. Nouvellet, he's interesting. He, he, he's an interesting case. Like, kind of like Lenny, he's not my cup of tea character-wise, but I still think he's cool and that he's like a good character and that his, his story quest is really good. That was one of the best story quests in the game for sure. Uh, I, I'm just going down the list of characters now, I guess you could say. Um, Risley, he's a cool guy. I like him. See, I, I, there's not many characters I dislike, or really any. Lenny is the one I like the least, I guess you could say. Risley was really cool. He's really not what I was expecting out of the Duke of the Fortress, so it was nice to be surprised by that, and I, I like his chill, laid-back attitude. Next, Siegeween. She is so cute. I think she's, pro she's probably my favorite character in Fontaine, not gonna lie. Just because she reminds me of Nahida a lot, and Nahida's my favorite character in the whole game. Obviously, her story is not nearly as complex as Nahida's, so obviously I can't rank her above. And Nahida was the first time I ever had a single favorite character in this game. I don't think anything's gonna beat Nahida for me. But still, Siege Queen, really great. Like, the, like, she's cute like Nahida, and also the, like, sweetness of, her, of both characters. They're, like, they remind me of each other in that regard, of how they're just, like, so genuinely nice to everyone and wishes the best for everyone. Next, Clorand. She's not out yet, but I'll probably be probably be pulling for her because I think she's just cool. Her outfit is cool. It reminds me of Bloodborne I've mentioned before. And her gameplay is probably really fun. She's an electro sword and she's fast. I love Kaching's playstyle, so I imagine she's like an even better Kaching. I can't wait for that. And I just think she's cool, like a duelist. Like she's kinda cold, but kinda makes me think of like like the mysterious fighter. I guess you could say. I like that character trope. Even though Nouvellet was kind of cold, it's a bit different. Hers is more intriguing in my opinion. Okay, Charlotte? I quite liked Charlotte for a bit, but honestly, her whole antics of like constantly trying to get a story got annoying <laughs> after a while, I'm gonna be honest. Like, at the final act just now, I was like, I was kind of over her. Like, come on, just give it up. We get it, you're a journalist and you're really passionate about it, but like, I don't know, it just got annoying. I still like her though, but like, I like her a little bit less because of that. <laughs> okay, I didn't go- mean- I didn't think I'd be going into this much detail about it, but I guess I just wanted to put everything out there right now because it's on my mind since I just did it. So overall, I still think Fontaine objectively- well, I can't really say objectively, it's all still subjective, but for me, it was the second best- I'd say it's objectively better than Monset, Liyue, and Inazuma. Just because of all the improvements they made in Sumeru, they kept in Fontaine and improved a little bit more as well. So, I can't put it below those other three. But I do still think Mondstadt is my favorite just because of its nature as classic medieval fantasy. It's just my favorite aesthetic and having that kind of exploration in the game was like it's what initially made me play this game in the first place so Mondstadt will always have a special place in my heart and I don't think anything will top it okay I say that but Snizhnaya has the potential but we'll, we'll see we'll see and I will have to say for the story overall like it went way more into detail compared to the other nations you can't I can't rank this any lower than second place on my list didn't like as much as Sumeru but overall, still was really great. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to say. If I think of something else to say, I'll probably just say it on the stream <laughs> whenever I stream. I don't, I, I've been recording for so long. This video is going to be so long. So I, I don't want to add 
even more unnecessary lengths to this. <laughs> well, with that said, thanks everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. <laughs>